Okay, so there's new power coming in for you over here. Um, and you might be dealing with a fair-haired or dark-haired man as well. Now, there could be some kind of work romance going on. Although this is not a romance friend, it's generally a um, uh, work read. Uh, you know, you could be very attracted to this person that you're dealing with, this fair-haired or uh, gray-haired man. Um, and maybe they're a very powerful person, and maybe you're attracted to this power in this person, but you're digging or working with this person. Now, in the past, in your work situation, you've been working alone and facing a lot of problems and a lot of challenges that you've been dealing with by yourself. And, you know, you've been working really based on faith. So, you know, you've been, uh, you've had a lot of hope um, and you've been using, you know, maybe you've been praying a lot as well in this particular situation. Maybe, you know, you felt very, very isolated and you had to deal with a lot of problems by yourself and you've needed to pray about it. Now, going into the future, you've got that reconciliation card and feeling very, very vulnerable. So there could have been some kind of problem that happened at work where there has been a breakdown in communication. And so some kind of reconciliation is needed there. And, you know, right now you're feeling as though you're vic being victimized in that particular position because you've got that vulnerable card. So maybe people are having a go at you and you don't seem to have any defense right now. So there was some, some kind of blow up, some kind of big problem that happened. Uh, maybe a breakdown in communication over here. You've got these rifts over here and this has left you feeling very unhappy or very, very um, you know, vulnerable. So whatever it is you dealt with was quite a difficult situation, dealt with it quite alone, but there seems to be some kind of breakup or some kind of problem that happened and that's left you feeling um, you know, very, very vulnerable. So, um, uh, and you are dealing with this person who is very powerful. They might have quite an influence on your future, this gray-haired or fair-haired man. This could be an office romance or could be something that is coming in over here for you. Uh, but this person that you're dealing with is pretty powerful. Um, so those are the energies for those two weeks. Right, so I'm going to use the uh, Tower of New Vision for the main read. I've shuffled this deck. Um, let's see what it's got to say. Okay, so you've got the sun card over here. So you've been working pretty, pretty hard. Um, maybe you started some kind of new project and you've been very, very focused on it. You've got this baby and the horse over there. So things are moving forward for you. There's a lot of communications going on over here, but you've been working a lot of hours, very late hours, long hours. And, you know, uh, uh, really, um, this is almost like, um, you know, working long hours, not getting enough rest, putting a lot of effort into that kind of project that you're doing in order for you to get returns. So um, a lot of effort going in. Now, this will be successful uh, eventually, whatever you're doing, but it's going to uh, require a lot of um, dedication and a lot of focus as well. So what's happening with you? You can see there's a celebration card. So after all of that hard work, it seems like things are going to start to pay off. So you've got a celebration card over here, getting together and celebrating, um, toasting, um, you know, the success of that particular project. So you can see this baby on the horse, so that brand new thing that you have launched uh, is going to produce success. And there you've got that three of cups coming in, which is show, showing that success is coming you, um, into your uh, arena right now. And you've got the world card over here. So you're going to be, you know, you're finishing that project right now. So that project is coming to an end and it's going to be a successful end. And it's also going to give you a lot of power in your hand. And maybe it's going to lead you on to uh, traveling quite a bit or um, expanding onto an international arena as well. So there's a lot of co international communication as well coming in. So a very successful end to a project that you worked very, very hard on. And it's going to give you a lot of power in your hand. And it's going to make, uh, you know, uh, allow you to travel, to communicate, um, you know, become a an expert in that particular field that you're doing. So um, it's going to, you know, this is the end of that particular project. So something brand new will begin. But this is the end, a successful end to whatever you've been doing and whatever you've been working on. So in the past year, you've got the King of Pentacles over here, and this King is very focused on his money, um, you can see. And so um, 
this is what you've been, you know, you can see this man taking the bull by the horn. So you have been the one that has been in charge of that particular situation and taking control of it, organizing it, uh, making sure that people are working. So you have been uh, the, a leader on, of this particular project. You can see this man in the field over there working and this man is giving instructions to him. So, uh, you know, you have been, um, um, you know, the one that's in the driver's seat, if you like, um, um, making sure that everything is done properly and managing everything, managing uh, the resources uh, and, you know, coming up with the ideas and being very, very focused. You have been leading uh, this particular project. So in the last three months, uh, maybe that particular thing has come to an end and you've got the fool starting something brand new and moving on, taking a risk uh, in doing something new. So whatever it is, you know, there has been a lot of problems as well. You've got this volcano going on over here. You have been, uh, you know, and he's almost at that edge and, you know, it looks like the rocks want to fall off. So you have started something brand new and it's a risky start, something that has been very risky. Maybe this is the risky thing that you have done in this last few months and this has been very successful. So you started this project, it's been very, very risky, but it seems like it's been very successful or it will be very successful, even though you had to take that risk, uh, take a chance at doing whatever it is that you're doing. So maybe you launch something new where you are taking that leadership, focusing, maybe you had to invest your own money in it and maybe that has been the risk and it seems like there's going to be a successful outcome to that. So what's in your mind? You've got the high priestess over here. Um, now, um, you can see that, you know, there's um, maybe some further study education research that needs to be done so something hasn't come to light there's something that is hidden that you need to find out you've got the owl over there and this is talking about information knowledge um, that is you know hidden or that is buried if you like so you do need to go and do some research uh, further research in order to reveal um, uh, what you need to make things move forward so um Oh, especially with that owl, you do need to go and find out about what's going on. Um, and you need to, you know, move the veil out of the way. So you have to go and actively research. You can't sit and wait for things to happen. It seems that, you know, sitting and waiting for things to happen, that cycle is coming to an end. You've got the end of that moon over there. So you have to start being proactive. So going into the future, you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in over here. So things are starting to turn. Uh, things are starting to move and things are starting to change for you. Um, uh, you know, where if it's been stuck, especially if you've got the high priestess of your sitting and waiting for things to happen, it seems like that energy starts to move and uh, you will have to start, um, you know, you'll start getting very, very busy or you'll be very, very active at this particular moment because that wheel is turning right now so whatever you do whatever information comes in is going to allow that wheel to change or the uh, allow that wheel to turn so you do need to go and do that research that you need um in order for you um to move to turn that wheel of fortune so you've got the stars card over here so some inspiration coming in for you some kind of information coming in and this is also getting a lot of recognition you can see the stars quite bright over there uh you know communicating on a very international basis via maybe a lot of internet communication over here and there's some brand new idea coming in as well some brand new project coming in as well because you've got the fire in the middle of the star over here so uh you know this is also uh, this also it's a card that counsels that if you are being, being, feeling very, very negative about a situation, you need to get rid of that emotions. And you now are finished with that particular project and you will be walking on, moving on. So you can see this man's moving on over here in this particular deck. So it looks like whatever you have done is going to bring you a lot of fame. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to make a lot of contacts with these with people. Uh, if you're feeling very negative, get rid of all of that. And, um, you know, bright idea, new idea coming in for you and you're going to be able to move on from it. So you will be finishing this particular project and moving on. You've got the Tempest card over here. So what's going on around you? You need to be... Uh, so this is this new... Uh, you know, you can see there's that new project that you're doing. So something that you did. It might have been something that you invented, some kind of new idea that you had. The Temperance card is talking about balance, finding that balance, uh, you know, and also um, trying to be um, very realistic about... Uh, the goals that you set and your intentions that you set um, and also getting advice from people so also using all the skills and talents that you have acquired and accumulated over the years and putting it into this project is the thing that's going to get it off the ground so you have to draw on all your past experiences and put it into um, action in order for you to uh, move this particular project forward but also it's it's also counseling about being grounded so keep one foot on the ground um, you know, and don't get your emotions, let your emotions get away with you as well. 
This is also taking advice from people and some kind of new idea, some kind of enlightenment coming in for you. That man's head is illuminated over there. Um, and this might also involve some, some travel. This temperance card is ruled by Sagittarius, and that is about international, getting your message onto the international uh, arena as well. So uh, be aware that whatever you're doing is not going to remain local. It's something that's going to really expand. And maybe this is what you're making plans for. And once the Wheel of Fortune comes in, and you've got the World card of here, it shows like an, almost an international expansion of that particular idea now the judgment card over here it's calling you to make a change you know you know you need to change things um you know decide what you want to leave behind learn from mistakes that you made in the past this is the judgment call this is trying to make a decision about what to do uh, in order for you to move forward and there might be some ideas from the past that you need to employ in this present um current situation in order for you to move forward um, it seems like, you know, you're worried about that, that, you know, whatever you're doing might not work out. Uh, but this is a chance for you. This is the turning point in your life and you have to make that decision to move forward. Now, going into the future, you've got the 10 of um, swords, uh, the, the moon, and you've got the devil card over here. So the 10 of swords says whatever didn't work out for you, it's time to leave it and uh, move on. So if there was anything within this particular job or particular project that you did that was not successful, that did not serve you, uh, it did not work out for you, it is time for you to leave it all behind and walk away from it. You might have been dealing with some really difficult people as well in your job situation and maybe even in this project, even though the project has been successful itself, maybe the people that you worked with were a bit toxic and it hasn't been, um, you know, what you expected it to be. So this is a time now you have now ended that particular cycle. So whatever you've been doing, where you've been working hard, uh, it has been successful, uh, but it's now come to an end. This is closure. And this a Wheel of Fortune is also a 10. So that particular cycle is now over. And there have been difficulties in this particular job. So it hasn't been smooth sailing right through. There have been a lot of problems as well that you had to deal with. So that particular situation is now ending and you have to leave it and walk on. You've got the moon. Maybe you're feeling a bit down because you are leaving that old situation and moving on. But you are now entering into a new phase. Uh, and, you know, don't be afraid to make big moves or make big decisions. Uh, you know, don't expect the worst case scenario. And this is what the moon says. You know, you, you, you're scared to make, to take a chance and, you know, you're um, a bit stressed out and, um, you know, you expect the worst to happen. This man is in full armor. So, you know, you're still expecting things to go completely wrong for some reason or the other, but it's time for you now to just let it go and move on and stop being depressed about things. Then you've got the devil card over here. So whatever new thing that you're starting over here is going to be something that takes up a lot of your time and takes up, um, you know, um, a lot of your... Um, the devil card is being changed to a particular job and having to work pretty hard for it. So uh, it's a card that is ruled by uh, Capricorn and this is about work and getting on. So you might get into a position or you may have been working with somebody that was very, very, uh, you know, uh, dominating or somebody that was really pushy and had had you in control. And it seems like maybe that situation has now come to an end. Um, maybe this is what you're leaving behind. You're leaving behind this person that was a bit of a control freak over there and, you know, somebody who was, uh, you know, had you, uh, you know, under whip and chain, if you like. So somebody that you had been working with, uh, you know, might have been a superior um, that had given you, been giving you grief. It seems like, you know, um, you know, pushing you on to finish this particular project, slave driving you, if you like. And now that particular situation is now over. Maybe you didn't get along with this person at all. Um, so it seems like that particular situation is now over and you are now moving away from it. So you're ending a, a, a cycle uh, of difficulty, really. So even though it's, it was successful and you are very, very happy that it's all finished, it seems like the Wheel of Fortune is coming to change, is changing, and you are now going to be moving on. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot. And the first card is the Six of Summer, which says um, the return of people uh, from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light uh, than they really occurred. So it looks like maybe you'll be, um, you know, um, getting together with somebody that you worked with before. So reconciling with somebody 
um, that you worked with before. So uh, maybe starting off something new with somebody else. So maybe once this old work cycle is now finished, maybe you're going to be moving on. Maybe somebody else has made you an offer and you've known this person in the past. You've got another six over here, which says the good you do comes back to you an unexpected inflow of money borrowing wisely. So it looks like money is coming in for you. Um, you might be, uh, you know, um, working with this person uh, that you met for in the past uh, again. And, you know, uh, this is they make a new offer to you and that's you know pays you a lot more and maybe you're leaving behind this old situation because with the ten of swords is definitely leaving behind the situation and walking away from it you can see that person is walking off and walking away from the devil as well so whatever that old job was when had you chained maybe you're going to be starting something brand new and working um you know in a better situation and you've got the fool over here so you are starting something brand new so you are leaving behind this old cycle whatever you're going to start off now is going to pay you a lot more money and it might be somebody that you're working with that you've uh, you know that you're going to start work with that you've known in the past before so some kind of, maybe you're going back to an old job or an old company that you worked with but you're starting something brand new and you're taking that chance and you're going to be doing it so it looks like the end of this old work cycle, whatever you finish now, whatever this project is, whatever this job is, is come to an end. Uh, you are dealing with a very difficult person with that devil card over there. Uh, and you worked a lot of lo uh, long hours and, you know, uh, maybe, you know, uh, they kept you um, in subservience. They weren't paying you very well. That situation is now finished and done with. And it looks like you're going to be moving on to something brand new. Uh, you know, you're going to be launching off into a more international front over here. So it looks like, you know, you've gotten the fame and you've gotten the success and you also seem to be walking away. So it looks like you're in transition at the moment, especially with the Wheel of Fortune coming in. It looks like you're moving on from this situation and you're going to start something brand new. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And um, please uh, watch my, the new videos that I'm doing, um, that I've started, the new video series that I've started on energy remedies. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.